good morning all welcome you all to the last episode of the chapter sets in the past 14 episodes we discussed the the complete theory part and their problems in the chapter sets today we are going to discuss some more problems in the miscellaneous section so far we have discussed 37 questions now we are going to discuss question number 38 to 45 in this episode let us see what is question number 38 so that a union b equal a intersection b implies a is equal to b here the question is we want to prove a is equal to b do you know how can we prove a is equal to b in the section subset of a set we mentioned that how can we prove a is equal to b two sets are equal when they are subsets of each other that is when a subset of b and b subset of a we can say that a is equal to b in other words to prove that a is equal to b we want to prove a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a now a natural question arises how can we prove a is a is a subset of b to prove that a is a subset of b we want to prove that whenever x belongs to a then x belongs to b also that is every element in a is an element of b also here we, we, we want to prove that a is equal to b for that we are going to prove whenever x belongs to a then x belongs to b for that we take some x in a what is the meaning of x belongs to a or whenever x belongs to a it is clear that x belongs to a union b also see the venn diagram this venn diagram shows a union b whenever x belongs to a these are the three different stages of a union b if x belongs to a and element belongs to a clearly that element belongs to a union b or this shader region suppose here there is an x in a clearly it belongs to the shader region a union b here also the same fact occur therefore whenever x belongs to a we can definitely say that x belongs to a union b in this particular question a union b equal to a intersection b therefore we can replace this a union b by a intersection b what is the meaning of x belongs to a intersection b when x belongs to a intersection b it indicates that x belongs to both a and b clear that is whenever x belongs to a intersection b that portion must lie in both a and b therefore we can definitely say that whenever x belongs to a intersection b that x belongs to both a and b here we want to x belongs to b so i write x belongs to b in total whenever x belongs to a then x belongs to b also or a is a subset of b that is our first relation okay similarly we can prove b is a subset of a also for that let us take a y belongs to b what is the meaning of y belongs to b y belongs to a union b here a union b and a intersection b are equal therefore we can replace this a union b by a intersection b what is the reason a union b and a intersection b are equal what is the meaning of y belongs to a intersection b that is y belongs to both a and b here we want to prove that y belongs to a so i write y belongs to a it means that whenever y belongs to b y belongs to a also therefore we can say that b is a subset of a that is our second result second result okay first result shows that a subset of b and second result shows that b is subset of a what is the meaning whenever a subset of b and b subset of a then a is equal to b from 1 and 2 we can uh, say that a is equal to b question number 38 is over 
Now let us see what is question number 39. That is a very simple question. If a subset of B show that C minus B is a subset of C minus A, how can we prove that C minus B is a subset of C minus A? To prove that A is a subset of B, we know that X belongs to A. We want to prove X belongs to A in place X belongs to B. In a similar way, to show that C minus B is a subset of Z minus A, we want to prove that whenever X belongs to Z minus B, we want to show that that X belongs to Z minus A also. For that, let us take X belongs to Z minus B. What is the meaning of C minus B? What is the meaning of X belongs to C minus B? X belongs to Z and X does not belong to B. X belongs to C and X does not belong to B. Here, A is a, it is given that A is a subset of B. X is not an element of B. What is the meaning? X is not an element of A. If X is not an element of B, X is not an element of A. What is the reason? A is a subset of B. Okay. Therefore, we can say that X belongs to Z and X does not belong to B. Implies X belongs to Z and X does not belong to A. What is the reason? X is a subset of, sorry, A is a subset of B. What is the meaning of X belongs to Z and X does not belong to A? X belongs to C. X is in C and X is not in A. The meaning is that C minus A. It means that X belongs to C minus A. That is, whenever X belongs to C minus B, then X belongs to C minus A also. That is, whenever X belongs to A, then X belongs to B. What is the meaning? A is a subset of B. In a similar way, whenever X belongs to C minus B, and uh, which implies uh, X belongs to C minus A, it means that C minus B is a subset of C minus A. Therefore, answer to question number 39 is over. Write it down in your notebook beautifully. Okay. Now let us see what is question number 40. If power set of S equal to power set of B, show that S equal to B. If the power set of two sets are equal, then that sets are also equal. That we want to prove. How can we prove two sets are equal? We To, to show that two sets are equal, we want to show that they are subsets of each other. They are subsets of each other. How can we prove A is a subset of B? For that, we take for every X belongs to A, we want to show that X belongs to B also. For that, let us take some X belongs to A. Suppose X is an element of A. What is the meaning? There is a subset capital X of A such that the small x belongs to capital X. That is the meaning of X belongs to A. Clear? Whenever small x belongs to capital A, you can find a subset capital X that is a subset of A and this small x belongs to that capital X like this. Since X is a subset of A, we can definitely say that X belongs to power set of A. What is the meaning of power set? The set of a subset of a set. X is a subset of A. It means that X belongs to power set of A. Okay. Here power set of A and power set of B are equal. Therefore, we can replace power set of A by power set of B. Okay. We can replace power set of A by power set of B. Therefore, X belongs to power set of B also. What is the meaning? X belongs to capital X. Capital X is in power set of B. Since capital X is in power set of B, capital X is a subset of B. Therefore, we can write X belongs to X and that X is a subset of B also. Since X is a subset of X, X is in capital X and that X is a subset of B, we can say that X is an element in capital B. X is an element in capital B. Clear? That is, whatever X belongs to A, we can definitely say that X belongs to B. What is the meaning? A is a subset of B. That is our first result. In a similar way, we can prove that B is a subset of A also. That you can do yourself. Try yourself at first. After that, see my explanation in the next screen. Suppose Y belongs to B. What is the meaning of Y belongs to B? There is a capital Y. There is a capital Y that is a subset of B. And this small Y belongs to that capital Y. Since Y is a subset of B, we can say that capital Y is belongs to power set of B. That is, since Y belongs to power set of B, what is the meaning of power set of B? The set of a subset of B. Since Y is an element in power set of B, we can say that Y is a subset of B. Y is a subset of B. And here, power set of B and power set of A are equal. Power set of B and power set of A are equal. Therefore, we can replace this power set of B by power set of A. Since Y e is a member in power set of A, it means that Y is a subset of A. Therefore, we can write Y belongs to capital Y subset of A. It means that Y is an element in A. Okay? 
or in short whenever y belongs to b then y belongs to a also that is b is a subset of a that is our second result in our first result we proved that a is a subset of b and in our second result we have proved that b is a subset of a combine these two results we get uh, a is equal to b then answer to that question is over write it down in your notebook now what is question number 41 so that power set of a intersection b is equal to power set of a intersection power set of a very important question that is a worked out question in the miscellaneous part of our textbook here we want to show that power set of the intersection of two sets is equal intersection intersection of the power set how can we prove that two sets are equal we want to show that these two sets are subsets of each other that is power set of a intersection b is a subset of power set of a intersection power set of b and power set of a intersection power set of b is a subset of power set of a intersection b okay that is to show that two sets are equal we want to show that a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a in order to show that a is a subset of b we want to show that whenever x belongs to a we want to show that x belongs to b to show that power set of a intersection b equal power set of a intersection power set of b we first we are going to prove that power set of a intersection b is a subset of power set of a intersection power set of b for that let us take an element in power set of a intersection b you know that a intersection b is a set and power set of a intersection b is a set of a subset of a intersection b therefore every element in power set of a intersection b is a set therefore i am going to take an arbitrary element in power set of a intersection b that is capital x okay since it is a set of a subset of a intersection b every element in a in the power set of a intersection b is a set therefore i take one element in power set of b as capital s that is a set okay what is the meaning of x belongs to power set of a intersection b that is very simple x is a subset of a intersection b what is the meaning of x intersection a x is a subset of a intersection b that is very clear x is a subset of a and x is a subset of b since x is a subset of a, x belongs to power set of a. Since x is a subset of b, x belongs to power set of b. Therefore, we can write like this. It means that x is an element in both power set of a and power set of b. Or in total, we can say x belongs to power set of a in the section power set of b. That is our result. That is, whenever x belongs to power set of a in the section b, when then x belongs to power set of a intersection power set of b also it means that whenever x belongs to a then x belongs to b what is the meaning a subset of b in a similar way we can say that whenever an element belongs to this set that element belongs to the second set also it means that first set is a subset of second set that is our first result in a similar way we can prove the reverse result also for that take another element capital y in power set of a intersection power set of b what is the meaning power set of uh, y belongs to power set of a and y belongs to power set of b it means that y is a subset of a and y is a subset of b it means that y is an element sorry y is a subset of a intersection b or we can say y is an element in power set of a intersection b whenever an element belongs to this set that element is also in this set it means that first set is a subset of second set or we can say uh, power set of a intersection b sub subset of power set of a intersection b that is uh, from the results 1 and 2 we can definitely say that these two, two sets are equal therefore from 1 and 2 we have power set of a intersection b is equal power set of a intersection power set of b answer to that question is over here we have proved that power set of a intersection b is equal power set of a intersection power set of b now next question is that can we prove power set of a union b is equal power set of a union power set of b let us see Question number 42. Is it true that power set of a union b is equal power set of a union power set of b? Its answer is no. To prove that a result is not true, it is enough to take some examples. For that, let us take two sets A is equal to set 1 and b is equal to set 2. First, let us see what is a union b. Can you say what is a union b? Zimbal. A union b is equal to set 1, 2. Okay. Then what is power set of a union b? Power set of a union b is a set of a subset of a union b that is set 1 set 2 set 1 2 5 that is power set of a union b that is our first equation then we want to show that now we have found what is uh, left hand side 
Now we are going to find right hand side. For that we want to find P of A and P of B. Here A is given set 1. Then what is P of power set of A? That is set 1 phi. It's set. Set set 1 phi. In a similar way what is that is P of B is equal to set 2 phi. Then what is their union? P of A union P of B. The union of these two sets set 1 set 2 phi. That is our second equation. Are they equal? P of A union B is equal P of A union P of B. In P of A union B there are four elements. P of A union P of B there are only three elements. That's two sets are not equal. Therefore we can say that P of A union B is not equal to P of A union P of B. In order to show that the result is not true. It is uh, uh, convenient to take an example and that example says that this result does not hold for two, any two sets. For some sets, therefore, this result is not true for all sets. We can definitely say. Okay. But when we want to prove that a result is true, an example is not enough, at that time we want to take a general uh, proof. Okay. Now, question number 43. Show that A intersection B is equal to A intersection C need not imply B equal to C. It need not imply. Okay. We want to disprove this statement. For that, we can take an example in the as the same as in the previous example, previous question. A is equal to set 1, 2 and B is equal to set 2, 3. Let us take this, this as example. And C is equal to what? C is equal to set 2, 4. What is A in the session B here? A in the session B, you can say A in the session B is equal to set 2. And what is A in the section C? That is set 2. And what is B in the session C? B in the uh, we want we don't want to find B in the session C. A in the session B equal set two and A in the session C is equal to set two. Here A in the session B and A in the session C are equal. Now look at B and C. Are they equal? No. B is equal set to two, three and C is equal set to two. For they are equivalent but not equal because three is here, three is not here. Therefore, we can clearly say that B not equal to C. This is an example. To show that a intersection B is equal to A intersection C did not imply B is equal to C. Therefore, we can say A intersection B is equal to A intersection C does not imply B is equal to C. Very simple question. Now, let us see what is question number 44. Find such A, B, C such that A intersection B, B intersection C, A intersection C are non empty and A intersection B intersection C equal to empty. Very simple question. You can find. You want to write three sets as example that obey this property. Okay. A intersection B, B intersection C, A intersection C are non empty, but their intersection in total intersection is empty. Can you find? Try. Okay. C. Let A is equal to 1, 2, B is equal to 2, 3, and C is equal to 1, 3. What is A intersection B? A intersection B is equal to set 2. What is A intersection C? That is set 1. What is B intersection C? That is set 3. All are non empty. A intersection B, A intersection C, B intersection C, all are non empty. All contain an element. Therefore, all are non empty. But what is A intersection B intersection C? A intersection B intersection C equal empty. There is no common element to three sets. Okay? Intersection, when we take the intersection of three sets, the, it, the, the set is, uh, the result is empty set. Okay. Therefore, here, pairwise intersection is non-empty, but total intersection is empty. Therefore, this is a beautiful example for this set. You can take another example also. Okay. Now, question number 45. This is question number 45. We want to prove this four result using properties of set. In order to say the right hand side of this uh, question, this Venn diagram is enough and more. By observing this Venn diagram, you can see it. You can say what is a union A intersection B. See, this is the set A. This is, is the yellow shaded region is a intersection B. Then what is the union of A and A intersection B? That is simply we can say the set is A. The right hand side is okay. What about this question? A intersection A union B. A is this one. A union B is this one. Okay. This one. A intersection. The common part of both A and A union B. That is A itself. Then what is next? A intersection B union A minus B. This is A intersection B. 
and this is a minus b what is the union of this portion a minus b union a intersection b that is a and the last question is a union b minus a a is this one b minus a is this one then a union b minus a is equal to what a union b okay this four results can be derived used in this Venn diagram itself but the question is using properties of set we, we prove that so let us use the properties of sets to prove this result answer question number a a union a intersection b is equal to let us uh, use the distributive property of union and the intersection a union a intersection b then a union a intersection a union b okay what is a union a that is a itself therefore we can write a intersection a union b what is a intersection a union b a is a subset of a union b okay a is a subset of a union b then what is the intersection of two sets when one is a subset of another set the subset is the answer therefore the answer is a what is the reason a is a subset of a union b now question number b a intersection a union b here let us uh, use the distributive property a intersection a union a intersection b a intersection a as you know by id important law you can say that a intersection a is equal to a union a intersection b here a intersection b is a subset of a a intersection b is a subset of a when we take the union of two set one is a subset of another set the largest set is the uh, result therefore is equal to a since the intersection b is a subset of a and what is question number c a intersection b a union a minus b is equal to a we want to prove it for that we know that what is a minus b in the section complement of two sets we derived that a minus b is equal to a intersection b dash and b minus a is equal to b intersection a dash as nodes number 9 and 10 in the section of complement of two sets we uh, derived these results okay therefore replace this a minus b by a intersection b dash a intersection b union a intersection b dash okay then use distribute distributive law a intersection b union b dash okay what is b union b dash what is a union a dash u therefore b union b dash is again u then we can say that a intersection u what is a intersection u a is a subset of u when we take intersection of two set the subset is the answer okay therefore the answer is a as we desired clear and the last question a union b minus a what is b minus a b intersection a dash use distributive law a union b intersection a union a dash what is a union a dash u a union b intersection u u a union b which is a superset u is the superset and a union b is a subset when we take the intersection of two sets one is a subset of another set the smallest set is the intersection therefore a union b is the answer okay what is the reason a union b is a subset of u clear this result is also derived we derived we have derived all these results using properties of sets then answer to question number 45 is over now you have some assignments question number 28 29 30 and 31 do these problems to do yourself okay now chapter the, our first chapter sets is over we have discussed the, all the theory part uh, and uh, uh, problem section in our NCRT textbook uh, keep in mind that sets the chapter sets is fundamental or basic of all upcoming chapters relations and function trigonometry functions etc so try to learn this chapter well okay try to learn this chapter well a thorough knowledge in the chapter sets is essential to learn higher mathematics okay let let me conclude this chapter here wishing you all the best have a nice day thank you